Hi, I'm the Lock Picking Cuba, and it's time for Trick Lock 2017 from Louis Coolin. If you haven't seen already, I've done videos solving the 2015 and 2016 versions, both of which were absolutely incredible. They're little 3D printed padlock puzzles, and the first two were unbelievably ingenious. So I have pretty high expectations of this one, I've got to say. Um, I'm hoping I'll have learned some things from the first two, at least about you know the way Louis thinks. Um, and I've also learned a little bit about the limitations or otherwise of the plastic. When I first started solving the 2015 one, I thought the plastic was 3D printed, so it would be kind of fragile, but it turns out actually it's very strong. Um, so it's pretty difficult to break, I think. Anyway, let's see. So we have, um, as usual, we have the date embossed on the padlock. We have uh, a shackle, and this time we've got a couple of little, I don't know, bolts holding something in place there. There's a little notch underneath the shackle uh, and a key, it seems, in a keyhole. But the key, whilst it turns quite a lot of the way around, does it come out? Oh yeah, it does come out, there we go. So a really cute tiny little key with, interestingly, a hole in the top there. Now that will have taken some doing, so I'm guessing that's for a reason. I wonder what the reason will be. Okay, so let's see. The first thing I really want to try is, can I get the key into this little slot here? It looks like it's almost designed for it. Yeah, it does go just, it's very tight. So I'm not sure I want to do that. Oh, I see, okay, the hole in the key is just like with real uh, lever lock keys. There's a little pin in the bottom there, which goes into it and that just keeps it steady. So that's probably what that's for. Now there's also this piece here, this kind of, ah, I see. <laughs> so I wonder if the real lock is underneath this keyhole and you have to get this piece, this shield to move away before you can get into it. Now I'm noticing as well as these two bolts here, there are some tiny little, I don't know if you can see these tiny little pins here and here, almost invisible. Just see them when the light catches them. So I don't know what those are about. If I'm just looking inside the keyhole, see if I can see anything helpful, but not much. That's the honest truth. Um, I can see that like this pin here, there's another pin down there. So. That does seem to confirm that this is indeed a keyhole. But if we want to move this shield, what is it going to take? Can I just sort of shake it out of the way? Not that way. Nope. Nope. Can I push it downwards with the key? That would seem a bit aggressive. Mm, it does go a little way, and it's kind of springy. That's interesting. Mm, but I don't think that's the answer. Now, it looks to me like this shield here goes down this way, but I think it might end this on the left-hand side, but you can see sort of what looks like an edge of it just in there. And if I can just sort of grab it slide it there. I guess not. In a minute I'm going to come back to that little notch there, but I'm a bit nervous of it. I'm also suddenly wondering, I mean the, both the puzzles so far have had the year embossed in them, but this looks a little different and it's making me suspicious. <laughs> I wonder if this little plate with the year on actually moves. I guess not. Oh, it, it's a little hard to say whether that is part of the same piece as the lock or if there's a tiny gap there. I think there's a tiny gap there. Mm, okay, makes me suspicious. And then there's these guys. What are they about? <laughs> they don't move. They feel pretty fixed to me. Pressing them doesn't give anything. Kind of slightly springy again, 
pushing on something. Okay, what else can I do here? So, let's see, put the key back in there. It turns, okay, so there's just a position down here, from here to here that we can't get to. So somewhere in there, there's a piece that's blocking it. Oh wait, what just happened? Did something happen? I feel like the key went past that point, but maybe I just dropped it and it spun. like there are two levels the key can be sort of somewhat out or all the way in if it's all the way in the thing that blocks it is here and if it's a little bit out then the thing that blocks it is here maybe that's one per side of the shackle then like it's exactly the right size but it is really a tight fit let's see oh no that doesn't want to go in at all no i'm gonna trust for now that this is so well made that if it was meant to go in there it would fit so i'm not going to try that again with these puzzles you can see through the plastic if you shine a light on the back of it but there's really nothing to see it looks like all the mechanism is around the edges here yeah really nothing to see which is sensible i do wonder what these are for are they just holding it together are they holding this in place that would make sense. But why not just have this be a single piece like it was in the others? Okay, my phone battery ran out. <laughs> so I had to charge it and now I am back and now I have to try and remember where I got to so what did I find I was fine oh yes I know I was finding that I could turn this in there and I could get it stuck in between but not turn it was that what I discovered I feel like I found something else that I'm forgetting anyway up on 
the shackle obviously moves this little shield. I don't know quite what to make of that. It's like on my oh! What just happened? Right, I'll have to come back and see what I did there at some point, but for now, let me see. That's super bewildering. What did I do? Did it always just move? No. Now it's locked in place. Oh, did I just press on it? Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, it's locked in place. You press on it. <laughs> okay, so that's step one. Do I just press on it again? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's step two. Okay, and now it's stuck again. Um, wow, that's weird. <laughs> and, oh, I feel like, okay, I think the left-hand side is completely free and the right-hand side is very close to being free. Gravity thing. Gravity seems to have played a part uh, at least once so far. No, I don't think so. There's nothing, nothing rattling, nothing shaking in there. That's pretty clear. What I also think is clear is that it's not being held in place on this side anymore. It's just being held in place on this side. Uh, now I'm coming back to this thing. Was this possibly? I mean, I can get my fingernail under there. Is that bad though? Am I am I breaking it if I do that? Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> I'll come back to that if I get desperate. I guess. Hmm. supposed to move this or not. Oh, it does come out. Hmm. So have I solved it? <laughs> this is one of those puzzles where I'm not really sure whether I've solved it or not. Maybe? Let's see, can I get it back together? I hope so. I might have to re-watch this video, see which way around this piece went. It looks like it would be like this, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, whoops. Like that. And that's like that. It's so difficult to get this off that I'm thinking maybe this isn't the right solution. But I'm gonna try it anyway, just in case. I'm gonna have another look. 
at the uh, internals here. So I'm thinking it must be okay. I am actually pretty convinced this is right now because the only way you can get the shackle all the way out is by coming past this piece and that piece is held in place by this. So, okay, good. I am convinced that must be the solution. <laughs> so yeah, that was another cool one. I think, I think this one I like a little less than 2015 and 2016. It's still a really cool puzzle. Um, but the solution was a little bit less sort of varied and a little bit less interesting. Uh, at least the solution I found, which was, you know, pressing down on here, then pressing down on here, and then pulling off this panel. Um, that's pretty cool, but it's not as cool as the, uh, the previous ones, I think. Again, apologies to Louis if I've uh, got the wrong solution here. I'll, uh, I'll try to find out. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you have watched the 2015 and 2016 videos as well. They're, those puzzles are amazing. And next is going to be the 2018 puzzle, which is the final one, as far as I know. So anyway, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.